Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Pinti Yang. Today's video for uh, these hydrangea beautiful beautiful flowers. It, actually this hydrangea pattern is uh, so complicated but then I'm going to be painting a little bit simplified these petals and uh, leaves and also I'm going to use the Verona technique and so um, yeah I'm going to start the brilliant pink magenta cerulean blue emerald green nova and Viridian. and some uh, highlight area I'm going to use the white you could use some uh, em yeah, acrylic paint, white acrylic paint instead of this watercolor, white color. Okay, for the sketch first. Okay, uh, very uh, complicated uh, flower and then uh, painting for painting, a little bit tricky. But then we're gonna try it, okay? So first, Big oval, kind of a half oval size. And then start to center, go down the step. And then here is, I'm going to put, place the big leaf here. Another one, start here and go. Oh, this one is the actually behind this uh, big leaf, this small one there, and then another one start here in maybe here, start here, but then we're going to cover leaf uh, petals, so here, like that, and a uh, flower pattern is very tricky and on the center and four small tiny pattern gathered make one flower some pattern small pattern is four or five small pattern make one a uh, little bit big pattern Okay, another one I'm gonna put here. Here is the center and small pattern. One, two, and three, and four. I already washed the paper and I'm I'm mixing brilliant pink and magenta and for this first layer I would the put on the uh, pattern area. If you don't like to go out this color, you can take out 
from a color from this uh, paper then I am okay I really like uh, spread the outside the flower next take a very thick oh before I I'm going to try switch the brush cerulean blue put some on the lower part area of the petal because you cannot see this uh, bluish color on this hydrangea but then I want to make some really, uh, really, really unique paint actually I don't like to follow exactly that uh, flower color and reference color reference photo yeah this is my style so if you like it you can use some bluish color under uh, lower part of the uh, petal flower area but then you, you don't like it but just to try brilliant pink and magenta and you don't have any brilliant pink color yeah you could mix magenta and white color okay don't worry about it any color you can use uh, any color any brand color yeah you can use it and then uh, this paper is still wet so and then uh, my brush hold a lot of water so this paper is not dry yet so you take out some water and color from this brush look at that like that just to push the this area so and this one is the second second layer so I mixed brilliant pink and more uh, magenta color so and then look at my brush stroke so start here and go up Oh, I'm sorry. This is a cerulean blue. I didn't mention it yet. So this one is the emerald no green nova. This one brilliant. All those uh, colorful leaf.
Now, now I'm doing some detailing uh, on the flower petal. So uh, between petal, yeah, divide, distinguish each uh, petal and the center of the point. Draw thick, a dark magenta color. I'm washing the paper on background area. I'm going to use a spreader technique for a final touch up. Finally, I'm going to try spreader. Splash on the flower with the flower color on the background. One more thing for a uh, white color. This is white. You can use acrylic, uh, white acrylic, or um, any white uh, pencils. Something make white highlight. Actually, you don't need to uh, just uh, leave this uh, painting or you want to draw, you want to make a very uh, detailed, realistic painting, you can outline it for highlight on the, the tip of the pattern area. It's up to you, totally it's up to you.
okay today's painting we are all done thank you for watching and i dearly dearly recommend you uh, try this painting today okay see you next time bye